Hey everybody, thank you for checking out View Golf. I'm Trent Roman, PGA professional, and I'm gonna do a little review today of the Ping drivers. I've got the G400 head from Ping, a model that was released about two years ago, and then I've got the G410, recently released head and very popular on the PGA Tour with all the Ping staffers. Got a 10 and a half degree head in the Ping G410, I'm gonna have that in a standard setting. I've got a 12 degree head in the G400. I'm gonna dial it down a degree and a half so that the heads are matching lofts. I'm gonna use the exact same shaft in both and that's going to be a Ping Tour 65 stiff shaft and the same golf balls, the Callaway Chrome Soft. And as always, I've got our TrackMan technology sitting behind me. I'm gonna do that comparison, hit about 10 to 15 balls with each driver. Let's take a look at those numbers. For those of you that have the G400, let's see if it's worth the $499.95 price tag to upgrade to that G410. For those of you who don't have the G410, we do have a review on it. It is my top, our top from View Golf Driver of 2019, hot off the face, feels good, sounds good. So you can check that review out on our channel. But this video is gonna be a little head-to-head -head comparison. Let's do this. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out our View Golf review of the new Ping G410 Plus driver comparison against the G400. Again, the G400 is about two years old. I also use the SFT head in the G400. Definitely, if you are a player that loses the golf ball to the right, a right-handed player I should say, Obviously vice versa, a left-handed player that loses it left, AKA a slice or a fade. This SFT technology is huge. You have to look into it. I saw anywhere from 10 to 20 extra yards of curvature from right to left. It turned my normal fade into a draw as you can see in that dispersion graphic I'll throw up right there. A lot of these G400 strikes with this driver, the blue dot there, finished left of the target, turned that fade into a draw or even a hook. So SFT technology, huge. By the numbers, let's get to it. G410, I averaged 112.5 miles an hour. It's a great feeling driver. I love swinging it, love it. Moves fast through the air. Dragonfly fly technology, turbulator technology, all that technology we talk about in our View Golf review of this driver, it makes that club feel light. It makes it travel through that air fast. So 112.5 miles an hour there. 279.4 yards of carry and a 300.2 yard total. 2,904 RPMs of spin. Now this driver didn't fit me, I just pulled it right off the rack. I'd obviously like to lower that spin a little bit um, and probably I would gain some more distance from it, but I just wanted to do the best head-to-head -head comparison of the drivers we had available. Fine, let's do the G400 SFT, the numbers, 108.9 miles an hour swing speed. 
I, don't ask me why. I, I can't explain that. Um, three miles an hour difference at swing speed. They, it feels good. It's not any heavier. Obviously, I use the same shaft. Uh, just, just me on that particular day. Maybe I was dehydrated. Check out that video. Uh, 274.6 yards worth of carry and a th uh, 298.3 yard total average. So you've only got about two yards difference between the two. Definitely, if you if you have the G400 or the G400 Max, is it worth get, you know investing and in get, getting this G410? I don't know. You not you have to really think about it in you know dollar per yard you might see an extra five to ten yards is that worth a hundred dollars per yard i i don't know that's your decision but i like i like them both again this g410 was probably the best driver we tested in all so far of 2019 as far as ball speed carry distance total distance swing speed uh, I, I uh, feel sound our whole view golf it got a five-star review if you remember that uh, big big fans of the G410 so 2758 rpms of spin it's it spun a little uh, I swung it a little slower didn't spin quite as much probably got down to that spin number closer to the spin number I'm looking for and it got me those extra yards with less swing speed that's just simply uh, just simply operator that's just me causing those numbers. So very, very similar drivers. Love them both. You can still get these G400s in shops, or you can also the newly released Ping G410. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching our View Golf review comparison of the G400 and G410 from Ping. If you liked it, make sure you click that like button below. If you have any questions, comments, let us know. If you've hit either or both of these drivers, let us know what you think about them. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, we're releasing content on a weekly basis. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button and get all of our latest releases. And uh, thank you again, Trent Roman, signing off.